Amazing family, how are you all doing? Thank you very much for always supporting me. I really do appreciate. If to those of us that you are coming across this channel, this is Agatha Progress Channel on YouTube, and I come across your way every blessed day. As you can see in this channel, we react to all videos, and in this channel, all opinion is highly needed in the comment section. And if you love what I am doing in this channel, why don't you click on that button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon so that we become one big family? All right, my wonderful family, this video we're about to watch. I don't know how you felt about this video, but I do hope you got some lesson from it. All right, my wonderful people, let's go straight into the video now. Watch it. Africa. The lawyer for the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra says his client was tortured while in the custody of Kenyan authorities. Ifiyanyi Ejio 4 says he has compelling evidence that he will be presenting to the International Court of Justice about violation of Namdi Kano's rights. VOA wasn't able to immediately get a response from the Kenyan government. Earlier this week, President Mohamedou Buhari commanded Nigerian security forces for their job in the execution of an international national operation that he said led to the arrest but president buhari gave no details on the operation except that kano was detained as a result of international cross-border cooperation kano's organization is agitating for an independent state for ethnic Igbos in southeast nigeria the nigerian government considers the group a terrorist organization Lawyer Ejio 4 says the terrorist label is a pretense for the Nigerian government to indiscriminately arrest members of the indigenous people of Biafra. Nandekano was severely beaten and subjected to all forms of inhuman treatment and degradation by the Kenyan police authority upon his abduction on 19th of June 2021 in Kenyan Nairobi Airport. He was detained in a very terrible environment, which is far unconnected with conventional place of custody in Kenya. They accused him of sundry offenses against the Kenyan authority and on account of which he was detained for eight days to enable them to investigate him. At the expiration of eight days, after being subjected to all forms of inhuman treatment, they now discovered that a person whom they've tortured for eight days was in Namdekano. And they now called on the Nigerian government to come over and pick him. So obviously, we understand that this is a clear script written in collaboration with the Nigerian government, which was clearly executed by the Kenyan police force. You mentioned Kenya, but it, it was never very clear to us exactly how Mr. Kanu was apprehended. The Nigerian government only said that uh, his arrest uh, was due to cross-border cooperation. What can you tell us in terms of exactly how and where Mr. Kanu was apprehended? Mr. Kanu was arrested in Nairobi Airport. Now when he was arrested in Nairobi Airport, Kenya, by Kenya police force, we have compelling evidence to this effect, which will be tendered before the International Court of Justice at the point we are going to get there, because we are already filing action through our foreign legal partners who are in court to challenge the gross violation of his fundamental rights as a British citizen, and also gross violation of the international laws on repatriation of persons suspended of government offense. So, and sundry infractions on his rights. So, what I'm saying is that, and in effect, that he was arrested in Kenya airport, I can confirm that to you authoritatively. As you know, sir, the Nigerian government considers your client, Mr. Kanu, and his uh, indigenous people of Biafra movement a terrorist organization. Okay, let me just explain this to you. Shortly after the invasion of Namdekano's premises on the 14th of September 2017, and they didn't succeed in abducting and killing him, they came back a few days after, on the 17th of September, to obtain an order of court, order of court as part of without reference to my office, to prescribe IPOB. Then we promptly filed an application before the Court of Appeal to challenge the public prescription of IPOB as a terrorist organization, because we know that the indices and the characters of IQOB, the activities, the manner in which they operate, does not fall within the ambit of provisions of the Section 3 of the Terrorism Prevention Act of Nigeria. And uh, going forward, we also probably then file an application for stay of, of execution of that judgment. So it's only in Nigeria that they have IPOB prescribed. Thankfully, I'm speaking with you, you're in America, and I'm, I'm communicating with you from America. American government, other foreign government, and responsible institutions refuse to sanction the prosecution of IPOB in Nigeria and elsewhere as a terrorist organization. So, as we are away, 
We have Boko Haram in Nigeria. We also have Planet Hespen in Nigeria. This organization that has been proscribed by international community because the essence of proscribing IPOB is to enable the federal government and the security agents of Nigeria to start arresting them on the sense of that order. When is the next court date? The matter has been slated for hearing, commencement of trial on the 26th day of July, 2021. Thank you so much, sir, for the time to speak with you. Okay, thank you so much. FEN Edge 4 is the lawyer for Nandi Kanu, leader of the indigenous people of Nigeria. In Ghana, a move to formalize the payment of salaries for the spouses of the... This is a very wonderful development. Nigeria government don't know what they are doing yet. They thought people are just playing, but it has gone beyond that. People are no longer playing. People are not serious. Now I want to tell you my wonderful people, not all videos you see on social media that you believe, especially the ones that are against the leader of Biafra, Mazina de Kalu. Now there's a video that was that is circulating there saying Mazina de Kalu won't support Nigeria in 2012, that is support one Nigeria. Yes, before everybody believed in one Nigeria. But along the line, people's eyes started to open to the reality that one Nigeria is not working. The ill treatment is just too much. And what did you expect them to do? They choose to go. When a marriage is not working any longer, divorce is the next option. I just know that Nigeria government don't really know what they are doing. Mazina Dikalo is not the one in trial. Nigeria government is one that is in trial. And by the time the world have deal with them they will know where they're supposed to be this is just unfair how will you kidnap people you go to people's house to arrest people middle of the night and without no proper no no proper entering and all that who does that Madikalu Kal- Ma- does not deserve it and it's high time all biafra need to stand up to their rights the lawyer of biafra Ifani is doing a great and a wonderful job. Of which along the line, as we do pray for Mazina de Kalum, we still need to put the lawyer as well in prayer because it's not easy with him presently. What is passing through might be just a shy play to so many people, but it's real. It's real. The man life is also a great threat to the Nigeria government. And at least his life is also at risk as well because he put himself at the front run so we still ought to pray for him we still ought to remember him in our prayers this thing that is just happening will so pass it will so pass away and everybody will be happy once again but as i keep on saying whatsoever you know you can do whatsoever you know you can do to support this movement, to support the leader of Biafra Mazina de Kalu. If it's by praying or by protest or by anything, you have to do it because his freedom is so assured and is guaranteed unto us. You know, since the leader of Biafra is out with Nigeria government, a lot has happened. And we don't just need to let things be the way they are as if nothing is going on. A lot has been going on and we hope for the best. All right, my wonderful family, as I always say, I thank you all for all your support and your love that brings us to the end of today's video. And if you know you haven't subscribed to this wonderful channel, you haven't joined the family yet, what are you then waiting for? Please join the family and promote us. Let's keep moving higher. As you do that, God richly bless us. Amen. All right, please do well to share this video with your friends and family so that they will know the latest happening all over the globe. One love Biafra, great live Biafra, long life to the leader of Biafra, Mazina de Kalo. We love you and don't forget, we always pray for you.